How's it going everyone? I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's been a while since I last uploaded. It's been about three weeks, so I do apologize for that. I've been working extremely hard on my own music. I made a total of nine songs so far, so they're going really well, all different styles, so I can't wait for you to hear them. In today's video, I'm going to be making a long one hour video of making a big room track. I'm going to do a total of two to three parts of this. They're all going to be one hour long, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm not going to be talking over the top. I'm just going to be sitting there creating a track like it's a live stream. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn something. Without further ado, let's get straight into this. I hope you enjoy it and let's go. So right now I'm starting the track with the big room kick. I'm actually making the track in quite an obscure key in the key of B minor. It's not a common key in big room. It's usually in the keys of D sharp, E, F around them regions. But today I'm going to work in B minor just to make it sound a little different. So now it's time to get the basic lead down just to get an idea flowing. This actually isn't the final melody I'll come up with, but it's just a starting point to see what I can make.
Something very popular in big room drops is pitching the kick. It just adds and continues the energy in the drops. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's finding the right keys to pitch the kicks in and doing some automation to make some of the notes slide into the next note. It's a very cool effect you can do. So now I'm doing a very, very popular technique, which is creating a separate reverb plugin to do automated reverb. Just create some energy, some reverb sweeps, and it creates a really cool effect and start to drop. As you can also see, I'm renaming the reverb that I'm automating with brackets called auto, just so I know which reverb's what, so I don't get confused. It's all about organization, so, so that's what I'm going to be doing now. I would also like to point out that I'm not using the same reverb settings as the original reverb above it. I'm using quite an excessive reverb with a long decay time and just really, really big reverb that you would normally not use just because it's only going to be showing up in a few sections throughout the drop where there's empty gaps between the MIDI notes. So if you're not sure what type of reverb settings to use, you can use my one as a template and then sort of tweak it from there. So what you heard there is actually the final drop lead that I've come up with. This is the final drop melody. Now I'm going to start layering the melody and make it sound more bigger and huge. So yeah, that's the final melody. A tip for when you're making drop melodies with harmonies in it, so there's multiple notes playing at once, like a chord, is to choose layers to play certain notes. For example, if you're playing a B and a G sharp, then for one layer, uh, solo out the B notes for that lead, and then for another layer, solo out the G sharp layers, just so you can actually get more harmonics coming out of these drop sounds, so you can pound some left and some right, and make more of a bigger sound.
I'm also layering multiple drop stabs together just to get more of a full sound. It also helps fill up the empty gaps when the drop lead isn't playing. And just like the pitch kicks, I'll pitch the stabs alongside the kicks just to build more energy and keep the momentum going. So now I'm recording one of the drop melody notes into Edison, dragging it onto the playlist and reversing it just to create some reverse reverb effects. It also helps fill up the empty gaps that the drop stabs don't help fill, just to help the mix continuously be filled up and keep the energy going.
So I decided to move the husband sounding lead into his own channel strip on the mixer just so I could process it differently. As I was having some issues with the reverb automation, it was interfering with the husband layer as it was acting like a drop stab. So I decided to move it on its own mixer channel just to have more freedom and flexibility. And uh, let me see you jump. Raise your fucking hands up. Raise your fucking hands up. So right here, I've just recorded two vocals. They sound incredibly stupid at the moment, but I'm going to be doing some vocoder processing. So I'm going to show you what I do for my vocoder processing, some small techniques and tips to record your own voice, make it sound robotic, and you can use it in your own track. So this is a little tip you can learn from. So I hope you enjoy, and let's see what it sounds like. 
would also like to apologize for the amount of times I actually repeat and play the vocal. I just wanted to make an authentic process and not edit anything out, just so you could see my full process on how I make the vocoder effect. So I do apologize if it gets quite irritating, but uh, I hope you can forgive me, but enjoy. <laughs> Bring your fucking hands up. 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 Bring your fucking Raise your fucking hands up. 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 And let me see you jump. Raise your fucking hands up. 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 Raise your fucking Raise your fucking hands up. 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 So that's what I do to make my vocoder robot sounding effects. I hope you actually learned something from that. Now I'm doing a quick time lapse just to speed up the process as I was just doing some minor changes to the formant shift automation as you can see from the little altar boy. And yeah, at this point it was just trial and error finding out what worked, what didn't work. And then I finally come to a certain sound that I like so I bounced it into his web file, opened back the original project and dragged it in.
So here, as you can see, I'm just loading up Endless Smile by Data Life. It's a brilliant plugin to help build tension in your build-ups and just to help your build-ups to sound extremely epic. So I highly recommend this plugin if you're struggling to make your build-ups sound more professional. So again, I'm doing another time lapse just so I can speed up the process just a little bit. So here I'm just creating some automations for the W and W LFO style riser. I'm just creating an automation clip for the rate and then I also do a low cut just to take some of that money low and down when the build up progresses.
Now I'm doing the classic EDM build up where I sustain on the key of the song. So of course it's B minor in my case, so I'm just sustaining the note to help with the build up and of course I'll do pitch bend automations to build more tension in the build up later on. And one of the last things I did was add a stereo shaper on the master to make an automation clip to make the build up go more mono towards the end. And when the drop hits, it hits 10 times more harder. So right now the build up sounds quite bare bones, it's just because there's barely any layers and there's only a few rises and snares on the build up. So when I make the break in the next few parts, I'll be adding some break elements into the build up to help with transition and also fill it up a lot more than it already is. So just take that into account that the build up is very bare bones just because there's a minimal amount in the track. So yeah, once I get the break going, I'll use some of them elements to move into the build up as well. So I think I'm going to leave it there. It's not quite one hour, it's only 43 minutes or so, so I do apologize for that. But I didn't want to cram too much in one video and do a load of stuff in one video. I wanted to do bits at a time. So in this episode, we've done the drop and the build up. Next episode, we're going to start on the break and then add some of them break elements into the build up to progress that even more. And then the final part, we'll probably do some finalizations on the second break and the second drop and then the intro and outro and we'll finish it there. But expect part two to be a lot longer than this. It could be even over an hour because the break is a lot more longer than the drop. So yeah, expect that coming soon. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a long one, so I hope you made it through to the end. If you did, smash the like button. And yeah, stay safe, produce music, and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Have a wonderful day. Take care.